Welcome. I'm Meredith, and this is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot, all about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. And uh, today, I want to do a video about uh, my experience at, at Newt's, the Northwest Tarot Symposium, and uh, kind of a, a mini haul of all the great stuff that I got. So I flew out, I flew out early, um, so I actually arrived on Wednesday. Now, Newt started, um, if you, if you, um, you know, you had different options of what days to attend and, and what things to do. So it started for some people on Thursday. I didn't do that one. That was like the maker event. Um, so instead what I did was I explored Portland, um, so I, I got in Wednesday and originally planned to go into Portland after checking in at the hotel, but honestly, I was just wiped. So I rested um, and went in on Thursday. Um, and actually, Wednesday I met some lovely people, but I'll get into that later. Um, so my first stop was the Portland Japanese Garden, which, oh man, so I actually have a video coming that's basically just a, a bunch of the pictures that I took. Absolutely exquisite, this place. I can't tell you enough how much I love it. If I lived in Portland, and it kind of makes me want to move to Portland, that's how wonderful it is, I would go every single day. It's absolutely wonderful and, and beautiful and just really, really lovely. Um, such fabulous, fabulous energy. Um, and I did buy the self-guided tour book. So I think it's like $17, $18 to get in. And there's different deals, I think, maybe for students or, uh, you know, people over a certain age, whatever. Um, but, I mean, to me, it, it was very inexpensive. And then the book was like $10. Um, and it's... It's beautiful and it's fascinating. And there's this whole cultural village, um, a lovely cafe. I did not go in the cafe because, because I am on a very restrictive diet. I, I couldn't eat anything. And I thought about going in just for the tea, but um, I just, there was so much I wanted to do and see. I didn't. Um, but next time, because there will be a next time, I'll have to go in. But wonderful, wonderful place. And, of course, I had to pick up some souvenirs. So I got, look at this postcard. Oh, man, I love that so much. And I got a few things for my daughter. But she's already taken them. Um, I got some wonderful incense. I'm looking forward to using. And, oh, look at this. So this is an incense holder. I just love this so much. It's so sweet. And I got this for my office because it's fabulous. So I got to bring it in uh, tonight. I haven't brought it yet, obviously. Look how cute. Love them. So. Then I did visit the Rose Garden. I did not buy anything there, but they do have a gift shop. I didn't even go in. <laughs> um, so then I went into Portland and I went to Powell's Books because you have to. Um, <laughs> and I, I did get some books that actually aren't here yet because uh, one of the lovely vendors, he used to, um, he used to run Newt's. So I'm not sure all the, the specifics, but but basically, um, I guess they, they sold it to Soultopia, maybe. I'm sorry if that's incorrect. That's my very basic, possibly wrong understanding. But anyway, super, super wonderful man who um, had packaging and everything, and, and you could ship stuff home with him. You know, he had a box, and, you know, of course there was a fee, but, I mean, you know, he's not going to do that for free. Um, but, uh, it was fabulous. I mean, I think it was the price of shipping, honestly. 
I mean, maybe he got some money from, I don't know. I don't care. It was fabulous. I was so grateful because um, I had a lot of heavy stuff. So I, I actually shipped most of the books that I bought home. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I had to visit Doc Martens, picked up a pair. So um, they're in my video too. And I, I don't remember where this was. I think it was, I did go into a Made in Portland store. But then there was another store as well. So I don't know which was which, but look how pretty. So this um, is made in Portland and it's a magic aromatherapy candle. Essential oils of star anise, lavender, patchouli, cedarwood infused with labradorite, red jasper, and cypress. Soy wax and crackling wooden wick burns for 35 hours. And it's inner truth. And the person, what's it say? I'm pretty sure this was the one. Oh, Rachel Byers. And you can go to rachelbyer.com, B-E-Y-E-R. Uh, she's, she's an artist too, I'm pretty positive. This smells amazing, by the way. I can't even tell you how amazing this smells. But so I think she has like prints and other things available on her site. I haven't checked it out yet, but I will. But oh man, I'm really looking forward to using this. Then I also got this. And this is by Roman Ruby Botanicals, also handmade in Portland. Stumptown Campfire. This smells exactly like a campfire. Oh man, it's got that kind of nice warm burning smell like from a fire mixed with wonderful pine and it's oh it's amazing I just mm, love it so I'm looking forward to using this too so it's hand poured soy wax pine and cedar wood um crackling firewood I just love it okay so now, um, you know, I went out to eat and all that. But then on Friday, that was the, uh, like the keynote speaker day. So we had four, what kind of five speakers? So um, first we had Barbara Moore and Charles Harrington, and they were absolutely wonderful. Then, I feel like I'm gonna mispronounce her name and I'm so sorry. Andrea, uh, Andrea Furtick, um, and she was wonderful, and she gave, I think it was in this, yeah, I, mm, I think so, she gave everybody this beautiful pouch, um, you know, and you could put crystals or, um, different, I mean, it depends on how you want to use it, but, um, you know, her, her tarot, well, I think it's her tarot and her oracle, the Afro goddess. So I remember when this was on Kickstarter and it was a little bit pricey, um, but it was beautiful. And it's one that I followed and I was back and forth and I ended up not backing it. Um, and I got to tell you, she sat next to me in one of the classes and I saw her deck up close. <gasps> unbelievably gorgeous. I mean, unbelievably gorgeous. So you can see where the money went. I mean, it was beautiful it's actually i think both are coming to u.s games so that's super exciting um so if you you know saw it were interested in it maybe you didn't see it um when when it comes out I'm almost definitely gonna get it so i'll show it i'll show you when i get it um then we had matt oren um and he was delightful and then of course Benabel Wen, who always, always wonderfully fabulous. So, um, after that, there were kind of two events. There was a free bingo and trivia. And then if you, um, if you had a ticket for that Friday, uh, keynote speaker event, you could go to the keynote, uh, meet and greet. I actually didn't go to that or the bingo only because, Again, you know, I'm I'm still kind of recovering from my surgery. It's just been it's been a long recovery, so I gotta kind of watch um, and 
you know, just give myself a lot of time to rest. So unfortunately, I, I didn't go because I felt I, I needed to rest more. Next year, I'll definitely go, though. But, um, yeah. So then, the next day, so basically the way it worked, and this is obviously for people who, who haven't been or maybe haven't been in a long time. Um, you know, that's why I'm kind of explaining this if you're interested. Uh, you know, maybe you're thinking about going next year. I am definitely going next year. Anyway, so we had a choice of, of two different classes for each time slot. Um, so the first class, oh, the first class, so fabulous. It was um, Divining Fortune's Code by Carrie Paris. Um, absolutely wonderful. Really, really loved it really interesting so basically and so here's the thing I don't want to I don't want to you know kind of give too much about what the speakers prevent presented because I don't want to you know take their stuff you know what I mean um so that's why I, I may be glossing over some parts and, and things like that but I want to share this with you because it's so cool um basically with tarot casting, um, a tarot deck. So, uh, you know, we had our we had our decks, and I think it was like a three card spread, right? So then, on top of this three card spread. We use some charms. Now, I'm going to tell you, I tried very hard to find her stall. I was told she was vending. I couldn't find it. So, somebody else said that she wasn't vending, so I have no idea. Um, but I did try. And when that failed, I went on Amazon and I got some charms. Now, I'm going to tell you later, uh, I think the next day, I had another class in charm casting by Linda Schumacher, which was also wonderful. And she provided these resources, which we have Carrie Paris's uh, website, which, I'm, you know, I could have Googled it. But, I mean, I'm, I'm really grateful that, I think I'm getting a delivery. I'm grateful that it's, it's listed here. So, if you're interested in those charms, definitely check these out. Um, and I will be. I just haven't gotten around to it. But so these arrived. Um, and for, you know, for me, what I got, I got one set that's all the different uh, zodiac signs. I don't know if you can even see. <laughs> see on the back of my hand. Um, which I just thought was super cool. But then I got um, just kind of regular charms, I guess. It was a pack of like 50 or 100, I don't know. But basically, uh, what I did was I went through, there were like duplicates, like there were multiple hearts, multiple horses, uh, multiple keys, I think. I kept some duplicates. I mean, they're different, but they're, you know, they're still hearts. But like to me, this has a different message than like this, right? Um, so anyway, the thing was basically, um, you kind of mix, you know, and, and pull out and do just like a sprinkling of the charms. And, you know, if they don't fall in the card, you don't use them. But basically, it just adds another dimension to your readings, you know. And um, I really, really liked it. And I think it's really interesting. So if you want to see kind of a more in-depth, um, you know, how I'm, I'm going to be using these, um, let me know. So I'm actually, um, I have a party on Friday, and I'm definitely going to be bringing these and using them because uh, I think they're fabulous. And the more, the more stuff I can throw into a reading, the happier I am because it just, you know, I like, uh, I like interesting things. Like that's, I use that word a lot. I definitely overuse it, but it's one of the best compliments I can give. 
Um, because to me, interesting is like one of the best things ever. So it just adds interest and, you know, and so I'll probably end up really just keeping them in a pouch to make it easier. But I kind of liked them in the tin. <laughs> and it's just, it, they didn't come with that. I had that from, I think like dollar stores, like a magnetic tin. It's fabulous. But I really, really like the term casting. Love the idea. I'm definitely going to be uh, checking out her website. And I think she has, uh, Carrie Paris, I, I think she has like casting mats and things like that as well. Um, and I'm sure much more. Okay, so then, oh, then um, we had T. Susan Chang uh, for a tarot spread, sh spread uh, sheeting. Super, super fabulous. I don't know. See, again, I don't know what I can or should share. Um, it's a really great idea. Definitely going to be doing it. Um, I... You know what? This is what we're going to do. Um, maybe in like a couple weeks after I have uh, my spreadsheet going, I'll share that with you. Um, definitely crediting her because it's her idea. But I feel like maybe if it's my application and I credit her, maybe that's okay. You know, I just don't want to do anything that would... Um, um offend or 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 take away from the presenters you know um and i'm i'm just not sure what i should share so all right now oh do you want to see you want to see my badge i love badges i get badges when i go to uh the national guild of hypnotists convention too um, so, and I found out at the end, you could actually just go up and ask for different ribbons. I don't have that many. Um, I love this one so much. So some are from classes, some are from vendors. Um, oh, the meetup. I didn't even talk about that. Okay. Let's talk about that. So skipping back. Uh, so this was Thursday night. Um, so Lisa Papas, Peggy Papas have... Uh, supportive tarot. Uh, you know, it used to be supportive tarot. Um, I think it's still, the Facebook is still supportive tarot though. But anyway, along with Don Michelle of Boho Tarot, put together this fabulous meetup. Um, and it was so nice to be able to, you know, kind of meet them in person, chat a little bit. They also had a, a tarot swap table. So I brought two decks. So I swapped out two. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. One was a Churro, uh, Mar oh God, what's this was that? Marchetti, Marchetti, uh, deck. Beautiful deck. Just, you know, just wasn't for me. Um, but beautiful. His artwork's beautiful. But anyway, um, so that was one of the ones. And what I received, or you know, what I picked, you know, you got to pick. So first, I got this deck in a lovely bag. Really nice canvasy bag. I like the way it feels. So this is the Handle Tarot. And it was definitely, like you can see, it got backed. Uh, the, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it didn't come like this. So someone took the time and effort to back it, which is just lovely. And definitely this has been trimmed and edged. And I'm sure this border went all the way around originally. I really like the size. Um, love the backs. I don't super love the this on the bottom, but it might be okay. Um, might be able to. Might be able to just trim that off and keep that, or maybe I'll just you know who knows. It doesn't matter. But really interesting deck. Very very pretty. Um, so if you want to see a full walkthrough of this deck, let me know. I'm happy to do it. It is an older deck. Um, but you know, sometimes with older decks, they kind of fall out and, uh, maybe you haven't seen it. I love, look at this. Oh, so I'm really looking forward to working with this deck. Um, 
But yeah, definitely let me know if you want if you want a full walkthrough. Because I'm happy to do it. Alright, so then the other deck that I picked was actually it's one that's been on my it's been in like my Amazon saved items forever. Um a really, really long time. And I just just never uh, pulled the trigger, you know? So this is the Journey to Enlightenment Tarot. Um, and this, I'm pretty sure it was edged. I don't think it came like that. Uh, but they did a beautiful job. So, and again, if you want to see, like, a full walkthrough, let me know. I'm happy to do that. This is just a really interesting deck. Um, look at the eyes. I think, um, I wasn't 100% on how I would work with it. That's why I didn't pull the trigger. But I'm really glad to have it. And, and I'm looking forward to spending some time with it. And kind of figuring out. Love this. So, um, love this too. Yeah, I think it's a really interesting deck. And we just talked about how, you know, what that word means to me. So, yeah, so that was fabulous. Um, and since we're talking about uh, deck swaps, there was one more. So Newt's had a, a table for deck swaps, and um, I kept checking it, and, and Lisa gave fabulous advice. She said, you know, bring, bring the deck that you would want to swap out and hold on to it if you don't see anything that you like at the table and just keep checking back. So that's what I did, and um, I think it was a couple of days in before I found the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. Um, oh, and I guess I should say, this is by Victoria Mosley, and I lost it already. And this one, the Journey to Enlightenment Tarot, is by Selena Joy Lovett. And Daniela Minutius Forster. Um, I have no idea about Hannah. Let's see. This. I have no idea who this is by. Wow, it's not in the book. Um, but it, it's a U.S. Games deck. That's about all I can tell you. Um, but anyway. So this is another deck that had kind of been on my list. And I just never pulled the trigger. Um, but. Really have I did. And you know what's interesting. So, and if you want a full walkthrough of this, let me know. And I'm happy to do it. Um, what's interesting is, if you've seen my previous video, you're probably aware that one of the wonderful vendors um, that I uh, spent some time with and spent some money with was uh, Marie Bento. And... Um, so I got her amazing Lenormand, her Oracle, and her Antiquarian Tarot. So I'm not going to go hugely into them because they do have their own video. But I just want to see something really quickly because I feel like, I feel like all of her decks would go well with this. But let's just take a quick look. At the tarot because I feel like these will be really nice together. Right? It's just kind of kismet, you know. I like when that happens. Look at that, right? That's just fabulous. And the funny thing is, this um, art style is not my typical aesthetic, but I super love it. I think they're both gorgeous. And I love how they fit with each other. 
So yeah, so that's fabulous. And all of all of Marie's decks, um, well, to me, the, the three that I have, I don't have all of her decks yet. Um, but they, they work really well with each other also. Love this card. Um, yeah, oh, this is fabulous. So, yeah, so I think it's so perfect that I thought that, the, you know, the deck was even available. Um, because it was a swap, so you never know what, you know, what's going to be available. Um, and that I, and that I chose it, you know. So, and I picked this up before I picked up Marie's decks. Okay. So now... get back to the classes. Right, or, well, let me show you. Huh. I'm sorry. I know I'm kind of all over the place. Um, we did get, we did get these fabulous packets. Um, you know, when you, when you checked in. So like one of the things, this is from U.S. Games. Um, I really need to pick up the spirit board, I think. Um, it just, it looks fabulous. But look at the other side. So we have that sweet little pendulum board. So that's really nice. This, okay. So um, Maxine Miller, the artist of the Magical Botanical Oracle, was there. Unfortunately, her decks were not. They got stuck in transit. Um, but I got to look through the prints of, you know, of all the cards. Insanely beautiful. I mean, really. And this is a deck that caught my eye. But I thought, uh, you know, there's not a huge amount of color. And, um, you know. And then I saw the prints. And in person. And they're so beautiful. I'm definitely going to be picking up this deck. Um, now, it did have... Uh, oh, it's only 32 cards. That kind of stinks. But I'm still going to get it. But, and one of the 32 is uh, like a marijuana one, which I'm not thrilled with. I'll probably pull that out. I mean, that's just my personal thing. Look, do what you want, right? I'm not not trying to preach to you. I'm, I'm just not a fan. Okay. Then we got this from US Games. Um, I mean, it's very pretty. And it's from... Uh, oh, what deck is this? I almost bought... I actually pre-ordered it and then I canceled it because I saw a flip through of it. Um, that sounds bad. It, it just, I don't think it's a deck for me. It's beautiful, really interesting artwork. Um, I just don't think I would ever use it. It's, uh, oh, the Lorenzi, uh, tarot. Um, but it is beautiful. It's beautiful. So it gives you a two choice spread. I mean, it's, it's pretty, Kind of standard, I would say, but your current issue, first choice, second choice, and then the likely outcomes of those choices. Um, so, but that was very nice. All right. And then, all right, I'm going to share this with you because I don't know if it's still available, but this is one of the, the lovely creators, um, that I met over at the uh, the red feather table. Um, so there is this this giveaway going on. I'm not sure if it's still going on. I haven't even entered it. Um, but really, really um, enjoyed talking to her. Um, and I, I did I did get one of her decks. So, but we'll get there. All right. Um, so then... Oh. So, Lisa de St. Croix um, did a, a class. Um, it was really neat. It was like this guided meditation, and then you, you worked on some art. Um, I'm not that kind of artist. I'm not going to even... I'm not going to share what I did, but what I'm going to share with is she provided a card from her new Oracle. Oh my goodness. What the heck's the name of it? Don't know, but
but this is her, this is, you know, this oracle. I love the shape of it. It's beautiful. You know, if you're not familiar, um, I, I have her tarot deck and I, I did do, I'm pretty sure I did a full walkthrough of it. Um, it's just the, the tarot de St. Croix. Um, and then the backs. So this deck, and this is the only reason why I haven't bought it yet, but I think I am going to pick it up, uh, for client readings is it's really relationship focused and, um, I don't really use tarot in that way. I don't, you know, relationships aren't that complicated to me, I guess. I don't know. I don't feel the need to, to read on, on my relationships, but of course, um, Lots of people do, and, and definitely lots of clients come for that. So I probably will pick it up. And it's, I just, I love the shape and the feel. Um, so I, I pretty much should have picked it up. But there is still time. So, and it was a fabulous, fabulous class. Um, and she was also like the, um, the artist of Newts this year. So... Her, um, her art was on, uh, bags and, and t-shirts and it's on the cover. So, and this is, this is from her Tarot de St. Croix deck. So, and I'm not going to go over, you know, every single class. Ooh, but, but I want to share... Yes. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot about the class because I don't want to, again, um, you know, just like plagiarize what was, what was done. But Mark Horn is the presenter and they give you his information. So gates of light, gates of light tarot.com. Um, I highly recommend if you, if you like the, um, the kind of deep, um, cerebral side, maybe. Um, it, so his talk was about, uh, Kabbalistic tarot as a spiritual path. He's got a book, um, that unfortunately he didn't have available there, but it is available for purchase on his website. Um, and I'm definitely going to be picking it up, uh, cause it was, it was so interesting. He was a lovely, lovely speaker. And, uh, I am, I'm really, really eager to read his, his book, um, and dive deeply into it. So if you're interested at all, I would check it out. Um, he does have an Instagram. He's got a Facebook, uh, Tarot Gates. Again, uh, his website is gatesoflighttarot.com. Um, and, and just a charming, charming man too. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, another class that was so, so cool. Um, I don't wanna, again, I don't want to take away, but just to tell you briefly. So it was, uh, Brandy, Rachel, and, um, I have a car. I don't know if I should share it anyway. I don't know. But she gave this really fascinating talk, um, and it was, it was, uh, it was, um, like a, a practical as well about, um, working with law enforcement, uh, using card readings to, um, find out like who, what, when, where, why, how, um, really, really interesting. And it made me think that, so we use tarot decks. Um, but I'm thinking that Lenormand would be perfect for that because it, it, it is so precise and, and specific. So I may kind of play with that because one of the things she suggested was follow, um, like ongoing cases. Um, and then you can kind of check yourself too, right? And, and see how things match up and whatever. Um, so I, I may do that with Lenormand and kind of see, or maybe I'll do it with Lenormand, but then I'll also do it with Tarot and kind of compare what I get from each. Really interesting. Um, so yeah, so I just, I really, really like the, um, and there are some, so I will say, so the classes were 45 minutes long, all of them, um, except for the, the keynotes were longer, but 
for all the classes on Saturday and Sunday. There were 45 minutes. Um, this isn't a criticism, but maybe a suggestion or, um, it, I would have loved to have some of them be, some of them definitely needed more time. Like, it's not that, it's not that, maybe need, it's the wrong word. I think we all would have benefited from more time with, with certain, certain ones. Um, they just, there was either so much information, it would have been great to be able to either slow it down or to just get more of that information. There are other ones who are just so absolutely delightful. Um, James Devine. Oh, man. That man. Um, I think I, I posted on Facebook. I'm like, he could read the dictionary and you'd be wonderful. And he just such a fabulous personality. But also, he's a, he's a, uh, he does palmistry. And that was really, really interesting. Would have loved that to be like an hour, two hours, maybe. So, um, just an idea. Not that I don't think any nudes people follow me, but just saying, maybe I'll kind of put it in as like a suggestion. But when I go to the, uh, the, the hypnotist conventions, there are different, different classes have different times. So there are some that are shorter, some are, you know, up to two hours long. And I feel like that would be fabulous. Maybe even if like each day only had like two, like if they're going to keep with that uh, two choice path, maybe have like two sets each day that are like two hours long. Because um, I, I just feel like 45 minutes is not enough time for some of the classes. Some of the classes, it was perfect. And it just kind of depends. Um, yeah, so then I don't know how much I should share or not share. So Jamie Sawyer did a fabulous class in tarot casting. Now, when I saw it at first, I was like, oh, that'll be like charm casting. No, it, it, not really. Um, so she provided this beautiful sticker. It's a sticker. Um, it came in our, our packets you know, when we were registered. And this is what we used for the class. So just a, a really short synopsis. Um, this was like, you know, like a reading mat. And there are different placements. And one of the things I appreciated was um, she seems to kind of read the way I do in that she just sort of throws things together. So she was using Tarot, Lenormand, Oracle, which was fabulous. And in fact, she gave us she gave it. So these are from her decks. So here is her Lenormand. So these are the cards that I got. Um, and then these are from her Sawyer's path decks for the tarot. All right, so those would go here. These would go here. And this is from her oracle. And I apologize, I don't know the name. Love this back so much. And I love the size, and the, sh the size and the shape. Don't super love <laughs> grasshoppers. Just saying. Um, now she's, she's the one, unless I'm wrong, I don't think I'm wrong, who did, uh, the Raining Rouge Tarot, which is one that I recently did a giveaway for because it didn't work for me. But the reason it didn't work for me is just because of the whole animals dressed up, not my vibe. Um, but I guess I might as well show you here. So I did pick this up. Uh, so this is Sawyer's Path Tara Journey. And it's it's two decks. So we have, I guess this is like her standard one, right? And I mean, her artwork's beautiful. Doesn't that look like her? If I asked her if that was her, and she said maybe when she was younger. Um, but it, I don't know, it feels like her. Not to, not to try to throw her as like, oh, you're the, you know what I mean. I hope you do. 
But um, the artwork's beautiful, and I really do love her artwork. And this is a deck that I absolutely can and will work with because we don't have the animals dressed as people, so I'm happy. Uh, I don't even mind the little... I love this. This is amazing. So if you want to see full walkthroughs of this, let me know because I'm happy to do that. And so this also... These are going to end up in bags. You know that, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. But, um, so this is the same deck, but it's the sketches, which is so fabulous. I love this. I'm absolutely going to be using these two decks together, but I'll use them separately too. Look at that. Look at the devil. Isn't that fabulous? So let me know if you want to see... Walkthroughs. I mean, these aren't new decks, you know, it's from 2021, but, um, you know, I don't, I've never seen a walkthrough of these. Um, I'm, I'm sure they exist, but I just haven't seen them. So, and it does come with a lovely book. I love how she did that too. So we have, you know, half of each. Oh, so I guess, oh, so this is Tarot 33.6, the red pencil sketches. That's fabulous. Okay. So anyway, that aside. Um, yeah, so essentially, without trying to, you know, um, take her thing she has well she has um various casting mats and they're available you can get them from her site um jamie sawyer 336.com um and she did show us another mat that she had for shadow work which was oh so beautiful um and i think it's on her instagram jamie sawyer 336 um she she has a whole series on how to use these. So I would definitely go there. Um, but just maybe some highlights. Notice that she's got all the elements in here. She's got the uh the the suits represented and so this this can add a dimension to your readings because you know when laying down a card depending on where it goes, right? You, you're going to pull in those elements from that, which is fabulous. And it actually gave me an idea. Um, I'm thinking about creating my own kind of mat. Um, maybe more of like a, a three-dimensional. I'm not this kind of artist, right? That's not my thing. But I'm thinking about creating like a very textured kind of mat. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do it yet, but it's just an idea that's brewing. Um, okay. So then, oh, and also, so Soultopia with, uh, with the registration, everybody got to pick a free bracelet, which was fabulous. Love this. So this was the full bracelet. Um, and it, it did come with a card and talking about it. Uh, I don't know where it is. So, and, oh, we also got the, these stickers. So, uh, Tara Disassembled. Love this deck. All right. Um, what else? Oh, and then. There was this really interesting class. Um, so this was... Um, Eileen Halverson, right? Now, the the cool thing is, I was already familiar with her, um, thanks to, uh, I think a podcast I heard about, I heard about her, and I ordered some of her products. So I've had these already, love them. So I have this, I have some, some other sprays and things. 
Um, and we go loose and everything. And I had to pick up her book and two more. So because because I flew, I couldn't get a big spray. Um, but I did get these two like roll-on ritual oils. So and they are oh wonderful. So I got the Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, um, and so there are tarot-based ones, but there are other ones as well. So um, you have a variety of, of choices if you go like to our website, which let me show you. Oh, right there. Can you see that? So it's a uh, by B Y Eileen A I L Y Aileen maybe by Aileen. Um, it, B Y A I L Y N N dot com. Um, so she talked about the the different energies and challenges, and um, again, I don't want to get too into it, but. Um, this book, so excited. I did start reading it, and she signed it. That is not how you spell my name, but that's okay. She didn't ask, I didn't offer. Um, that is the way many, many people spell it, but they're all wrong. Just saying. But this book, oh, it's so cool. So, it, it talks about, um, her approach, the archetypes, um, numerology, elemental energies in the archetypes, an introduction to essential oils, blending them, adding crystals and gemstones, mantras, creating simple everyday rituals. And, you know, there we have, like, mantras, rituals, cookings, baths, teas, colors and stones, creating an altar. Like, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, so I'm really, really excited to... Uh, to finish reading it. I think this, this book looks fabulous. So this is the Tarot Apothecary. And again by Eileen. I'm saying Eileen. I think it's probably Eileen. I apologize. Halverson. Um, oh, there she is. And uh, it is a Llewellyn book. So you can get it Llewellyn, Amazon. You might be able to get it on her site too as well. Not sure. And I'm back. Sorry about that. And of course, I realized that I just recorded all that stuff without my mic plugged in. So, um, hopefully the sound quality is okay. Because this is actually my second time recording this. Um, so anyway, but I did uh, get a delivery. And um, as I mentioned, uh, I did get some books that I shipped. Received uh, that today. <laughs> along with, I packed, like, books and, and dirty laundry and, and things, um, so let me show you that, and in fact, the first thing I'm going to show you, this was given to everybody who, who went to the meetup with, uh, Lisa Papez and, uh, Don Michel of, uh, Boho Taro, look how fabulous, and, and they both have decks. We have Tarot of the Fifth Kind by Don Michelle. Um, not really an alien person, but I'm definitely going to have to check it out. And the Unicorn's Journey Tarot, that's coming by Lisa Papez. Um, they also, there was a, a pen and a highlighter, but they got packaged in other places. But fabulous. I mean, this was so sweet. They didn't have to do anything. Love this, right? So you can put this on anything. Um, really, really kind and, and generous of them. So I really appreciate it. Um, wow, we have all kinds of bookmarks going as well. That's, I mean, it's really, really sweet. So, um, yeah, definitely, definitely appreciate that. Then from, from Powell's books, since we're here. Um, I did get, I had to get another notebook because look how fabulous. And it's that wonderful, I love this brand, Aesthetic. It just feel, let's get rid of that. So, it's 
so lovely. And this is, you know, one of those lay flat, which is great. Um, yeah, so I just, I loved it. I had to get it. Because you can never have too many notebooks. And then, I got, I was, I was looking for small light books for the journey. And this is fabulous. Um, I, I do love tiny things. Um, so I actually have a larger version of this. But um, I love that we have the little pocket. And this is definitely like a used, which is, you know, fun. Um, but yeah. So I got that. I got, I picked this up. I just thought this looked like a quick, fun read. Um, so, yeah, sure. I mean, this will be like in a night. Um, but just, you know, something interesting. I haven't seen it and it's very light. And then I picked up this. And it just it looks very interesting. Um, so we'll see. I haven't I haven't started reading any of these yet. Then I picked this up for my daughter. Um, I thought this was like brilliantly done. Um, so if you're interested in Hinduism at all, this could be a great book. Um, I love the way because it ties in the history with the religion, with uh, symbology, with all kinds of stuff. And it's just fabulously done. Um, so, yeah. So. So those are the books. Oh, and then I also, <laughs> I'm all over the place. We also got this wonderful, um, you know, coffee mug. From Newt's. Hope you can see. It was really nice. Um, and can I just say, everybody at Newt's was fabulous. Like, I mean, really, there were uh, people who were handing out raffles, cleaning up the rooms, which really they shouldn't have had to do. And, and just everybody was so helpful and kind and generous with, with their time and their energy. And just an absolute delight every single person um even you know the the vendors were all wonderful and delightful the presenters of course the hotel staff i mean everybody it was just such a wonderful experience um okay now speaking of vendors <clears throat> so there were a few others that i um spent some time and money with so we have a uh, crystal quarry I had to pick up just a few, just a few things. Um, there were so many beautiful things um, that interested and intrigued me. Uh, many of them were really big, and I just refused to allow myself to go there. Um, look at this. I love this. But, you know, these are just a couple things that really, really called to me. And uh, so I picked them up. Uh, I love this tangerine quartz. It's fabulous. And one more. I have so much amethyst, but <laughs> I just really liked it. So I got it. You know, I do believe in uh, indulging myself. Then, oh, and you know, I have no idea the name of this vendor, and I am so sorry because. She was a super, super delight, and this is gorgeous. I mean, I can't even tell you how gorgeous this is on. So it's uh, it's totally um, customizable to your particular shape and, and form. You know, you can kind of... Um, uh, I can't think of the word I want. You can kind of meld it to your body. And look at this. It's fabulous. So, and, you know, you can swap this out, you know, and put on any pendant that you might want. You know, so I will I will figure out the name of this vendor and put her in the description. And uh, with a link, if I have it, I just, this isn't going to 
do it justice. This is so beautiful in person. Um, but if you're interested, you can get, she has gold and silver. Um, and you can buy just these if you want. You can buy just these or you can get both. So, um, but just, she was such a delight and beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay. Now, oh, I'm going to show you a sneak peek. So, um, Wednesday night, I met two wonderful, wonderful women, um, and we had some fun playing cards and got to talking. And so one of them was Reese Marin, who created this beautiful tarot deck. I have not even opened it yet, and it's driving me nuts because I want to. Um, so this is the Pensive Path Tarot. I am going to do a full unboxing and walkthrough of this because so fabulous. So fabulous. So that's going to be my next video. So if you want to see this, um, stay tuned. It's coming really soon. Now, okay, I think the, I think the last thing to really discuss is, um, so I spent a, a good amount of time at the red feather table. <coughs> and one of the things I walked away with was their magazine. So they don't send this out. So Llewellyn, you can sign up and, and they will um, mail you their, their catalog. Red Feather does not do that apparently. But they give it away at events. So um, I thought just to kind of go over the new stuff really quickly because it's fun. Um, so I think, oh, so this is available October, so this may or may not be available right now. Um, so this is Magical Dimensions, Oracle Cards, and Activators, and this is the second edition. But there were a couple that really, really interested me. Um, so this one is one of them. Between the Worlds. And it's by Monica Budierski. Um, and it just looks wonderful. So these are... Um, it's basically shadow casting with bone and curio oracle cards. And this is available in October. So... I don't know if it's available right now, but it's coming if it's not. Uh, this is another October one. We have Angels of Healing and Hope Oracle. Um, really pretty. Okay, sorry, work called. Um, this is interesting. So this is available in November. So we have, I guess, like a series of scrolls. So this one's about past lives. This one's about lucid dreaming. Um, and basically it says, maybe it's on this one. Um, Small enough to easily carry with you or throw into a bag. They're designed not only to enlighten, but also to spark conversation and foster connections. Um, made from materials that stand the test of time, roll after roll. It just looks really interesting. Um, so those are both available in November. This one, um, I'm pretty much definitely going to get. This is coming in November. This is the Swagatam Tarot. And it just, it looks so beautiful. So I'm really excited to see that. And this one, I don't know if this was available at the table. So one of the cool things about the Red Feather table is that they had a bunch of decks that were open, or you could open them and look through and really get a good feel for the decks and the cards. 
Um, I wonder if this was there. I feel really interested in this. This is the Zerner Farber Tarot. But I feel like I looked at it and then was like, no, maybe not. Uh, but it's so pretty. So I'm going to have to take another look. Um, this is available October. So it might be available now, maybe not. And, uh, right, so then the Grand Universal Tarot is another October. The Celtic Book of the Dead is coming in November. So then we have Dream Your Joy Oracle cards that are coming in December. Really pretty. This is another one that I might have to get. There's just something about it. It's the Higher Self Oracle, available in December. Um, Oracle of the Crystal Skulls, available in December. This one, this one really interests me. This is Powerful Perspectives. It's an Oracle deck. It's by Amanda Rhodes and Amy Chase or Chake. So Amy is the one who did a um, deck that I really like and I can't think of the name. Um, dang it. And I recognized the, the art. Like I, not recognized, um, but you know, it's very similar in style to the Manifesting Your Greatness Oracle. So that's her as well. Um, but I love this and I love that. So these cards are designed so that um, you're going to get stuff no matter how they're turned. You know? So I think that's fabulous. And I, I love her artwork. So... Yeah, so that's coming in December. Um, then we have the Everglow, a divination system. Um, so they do have Arcana cards. So, so it's 78 cards. But I don't think it's exactly tarot because they're not calling it tarot. Um, but it looks interesting. So I'm going to look forward to learning more about it. Um, and then we have the doors of Somlapith. So this looks so pretty. So I'm definitely interested in this as well. Um, so it's 52 cards. Um, and it just, it looks really interesting. So I, I think that's one that I'll have to pick up. And that's coming in November. Um, then we have the book coming in November, knowing... The Seven Human Expressions of Grace. The Dream Gate. Understanding Your Dreams. Oh, Chris from New Jersey. That's coming in November. Um, I'm not going to get to... I feel like there were a couple more. Oh, so these are all available already. Okay. So... Then um, I spent I spent a good deal of time with Red Feather, um, and I purchased some decks, a fair few actually. Um, so one of the cool things that they did, they didn't have decks on hand to take home. At least I don't think they did. But you could order it there, and you got ten percent off and free shipping, and. I got my decks yesterday, and I bought them, I think, on Saturday. 
And Monday was a holiday. Just saying. Um, so... Just to give you an idea, this, can you even see? So this is the box, it's huge, it's huge. So you wanna, let's open it right now, but I'm not gonna open all the decks, but just to show you what's, uh, you know, what I got and um, what you're gonna see going forward from me. Um, and because I ordered some decks, they also gave me this fabulous reading cloth that is also, of course, it's not, um, you know, you could use this, you could use it as, as like a Ouija board or, um, you could really use this as like a casting mat or a pendulum, like you could use it for a lot of things. I mean, it's kind of big for a pendulum, although, yeah, you could, um, but really nice. So, and you could just wear it as a bandana too. It was super cute. <clears throat> and oh, something circled. I hope that doesn't mean it's not there. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So. I got the Shadowland Lenormand by Monica Badirsky. So this is the colored version. Um, so super pretty. Well, it's circled, but it's here. So, okay. The Creativity Oracle. And this is by Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. Oh, wait, wasn't that... So these are the same people who did the Zerner Farber. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Right? Because wasn't that... Let it go. Yeah. So, same creators. But this is different. Oh, well, this is the Oracle. Oh, so maybe I need the tarot to go with the Oracle. Something to think about. Okay, then I got the Mythical Creatures Oracle. This feels so nice. Um, <clears throat> it's not really my, um, what exactly I look for in an Oracle, but I just really liked it. So, Then I got the Rota Mundi Tarot, um, which just looks really, really fabulous. So I'm excited to look through that. And then all right, the next two decks. Um, so the next two. Um, decks, I actually got to talk to the creators. Um, so this one is the Kingdom Within Tarot. Um, and uh, she was just absolutely lovely. Really, really interested in, in exploring this deck. Then, this is the last one. Um, and, uh, and the creator also gave me this fabulous fabulous candle to use with it. And this is the Osset Gypsy Tarot by James Jacob Pieri, who is an absolute delight. And he's from New Jersey. So, you know. And it is illustrated by Rebecca Stotzenberg and Heather Scott. So, um, I got a lot of new decks. So, 
if you want to see walkthroughs of these, I'm probably just gonna, I'm probably just gonna do them. But um, let me know. Let me know if there's one that really specifically interests you. I'll try to at least do that first. Um, but again, the the first one I'm gonna do next is the pensive path. Um, and I think that's it. And I gotta tell you, I have. I don't even know, one, two, I have like, th I have like three more pieces of mail. Um, at least one of them is a Kickstarter that came in. So I have a lot of like, uh, unboxings to do. So stay tuned. Um, let me know if you want more information about anything I discussed or any of the decks. Um, if you have any specific questions about newts. I'll do what I can to uh, to answer them, but it was it was really just a fabulous, fabulous time, um, and it was so wonderful to be around, you know, kind of like-minded people, and and also to to get some very, very different perspectives, um, which was just fabulous. So, until next time, just be wonderful to yourself. Be really really wonderful because you deserve the best only the best all the best and that is my wish for you